What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have a brand new video. Hold on, let me take this shit off. <clears throat> yeah. Today we have a brand new video. Um, I figure I'd give you guys like an update on what's been going on with me because currently I am in YouTube jail. Damn. It's not my first time being locked up by the good old folks at YouTube. This time though, I'm not really stressing it because I'm holding myself accountable. Those videos that you guys love, some of those went against the YouTube terms and policies and they have been demonetizing my videos. The uh, computer has been putting me under extra scrutiny. So it's all good. I'm still going to upload because at the end of the day, I love making the videos. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about the money. To give you guys a quick update, man, the mask you see me wearing, this actually from my new job. So I was contemplating whether I should just do YouTube full time, but I decided to take the job, you know what I'm saying, because the insurance is really good, and, you know, based on me doing YouTube and me doing the job, I'll be able to make a sizable amount of money to where I could put my family in a better position, so I decided to do that. I would tell you guys where I work, but yet today, I found out that we can't talk about it because... You just can't talk about it. Whether you're saying good things or bad things, you just can't talk about it. So, it is what it is. Anyway, man, um, I do have like a quick little story time for you guys or something that, you know, I don't like doing the videos without teaching something or preaching or whatever you want to say, right? So, the last video I uploaded where I was talking about the couple who just had a very toxic relationship. <laughs> The day that I was editing the video, I got a phone call from one of my boys. He's like, hey, bro, I need you to come. I need I need your help, bro. It's it's, it's an emergency. I'm like, yo, what happened? So apparently, him and his, uh, his girl got into it, and he was kicking her out the house, and he wanted me to take her to the airport. Now, I'm not going to lie. My drive there, I was just going to tell him how stupid it was. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to make sure folks didn't kill each other. So I drive there, I get there, and big commotion. Part of me was just disappointed. I was disappointed in him. I don't know her like that, but at the same time, I was disappointed in her. And I'm not going to really speak their business on the internet. But what I would say, man, um, if you know that if you know that you're going to do toxic stuff, man, you should just leave people alone. You feel what I'm saying? And that goes for both of them. If you know that you aren't ready to settle down and be in a relationship, you shouldn't lie to people. You shouldn't lead people on because people's emotions, you know, it can lead to dangerous things. The world we live in right now, it's a lot of people going through a lot, especially like as you enter middle age, like you get in your 30s like that and I consider like 30 middle age because a lot of people don't make it past 70 so I consider 30 middle age so once you start hitting your 30s and stuff like that man you start realizing that you had a lot of childhood trauma that's one of the reasons why you should not be playing with people's emotions besides the fact that it's just wrong to be playing with people's emotions when childhood trauma gets involved and a lot of people have unresolved childhood trauma that's why you shouldn't be running around here just being selfish I was disappointed in that situation, bro. I was disappointed in how it transpired. I was disappointed with the stuff I heard. And I was disappointed that my, my boy made me a part of that. And this is the second time that he made me a part of some that, you know, I feel as though could have affected me in a negative light. The first time he did some that actually took money away from my family. And I forgive them. And this time, you know, you just put me in an awkward ass position. And I ain't I ain't like that. I ain't like that. But <clears throat> it's the video. The next video is gonna be back to regularly scheduled programming. I just want to give you guys a quick update, you know. And like I said, 